Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Old School Sundays. We're going back into the fray that is Project Warlock. Alright. Oh, and I did figure something out before I get started here. I wanted to let y'all know, I had a little bit of trouble rendering my last video. And it still is a little on the blurry side. And it's probably going to still be that way when I uh, upload this video. I don't know how to fix it. Not unless I try to render in a higher resolution or something. If you guys know the answer to that, let me know. But to, I had to do some... Um, <clears throat> basically, I played the game off camera to, and recorded it. Trying to figure out... Uh, about... Uh, trying to, you know see if I can fix the resolution by changing some settings and whatnot and I'm getting like mine's just wandering for some reason thinking of like three different things at once but yeah I was trying to I was trying different resolutions I was trying uh, to render in different resolutions I tried Elgato change the settings on there and <clears throat> what I noticed is that if I go into here let's see here you'll notice that I have 10 points and I and yeah, last episode when I was editing, I noticed this cost nothing, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that. For a second, for a, for a moment there, I thought it was uh, it cost one, but if you notice, I have a lot of points compared to my last episode, and the reason being is that your character is tied to one save file, right? And. Uh, I'm gonna escape here real quick. I know I'm going through the menus and all this. I just want to show you guys real quick. If you go back to here, see you can go the new game, continue your adventure that you last left off, or you could play single stage. You can go in here and play any of these stages as long as you have un unlocked them. And the thing is, is that since this character that you're playing is tied to one save file. Anything you earn in these single stages just to mess around or test resolutions and whatnot, you still get level ups and whatnot. And I was like, okay. A little bit of tidbit information for you guys there that you, if you want to level up and you don't feel like you're powerful enough for the next level and you're having trouble getting through it or something, depending on what difficulty you played in. Then go back to single stages, the ones you know you can beat, and just keep collecting treasure and whatnot. It still takes your ammo, so be careful with that. Because as you look here, I only got five rounds left in pistol and whatnot. So yeah, I'm out of ammo on certain things. Because it still counts as your character. Anything you use in a single stage gets used up. And you do still level up as well. So, alright. That flash was me hitting the uh, right mouse button, which is your spell button. Okay, think about doing this. This is really uh, very powerful. Uh, it's not very powerful at first, but more you hold down the button, and if you have a lot of mana, it destroys real quickly. So I might, might go ahead and get this at some point. But I was thinking about going after one of these because... Uh, I use the axe my when I was playing this off, you know, before when I was doing my dusk let's play and whatnot. I was using this to heal me, but it's not great. It doesn't heal you by lots amount, but it does help you out in, in a pinch. This one refills your mana. This one refills your uh, life. So it's probably a good idea to go ahead and, and get that. All right. This cost eight, so I can try to get it a little bit later. Alright, crossbow. Fires a huge ballistic missile capable of penetrating multiple targets. I'm all done. I'm going to add a little bit more to this video. It's going to be a little longer than normal, only because I, I'm rambling on, talking in the menus and stuff, telling you guys all that stuff. But I'd rather show you guys the tips than, uh, you know, not saying anything. And this is it. You push your right, uh, hold your right mouse button or click it, and you use your spell that is selected. And this is the light. All right, how many points? I got five lives, ten, uh, level ten, and four points. So I'm going to add some to point. I'm going to add two to spirit to give me a little extra mana, and it gives you five points per. Capacity is really good, so I'll go after that. I got two points here, so let's see. 
What's this? Uh, all medkits heal. Plus five more health when picked up. Shotgun expert. Each shotgun or ammo picked uh, picked pickup gives you two extra shells. I was trying to s say this with a space in it for some reason. So this gives you extra ammo. That's actually pretty good. Lead collector. Ever want to ever wanted to become a lead farmer? All miniguns, SMG, and pistol ammo pickups provide extra bullets so you can show them where your uh, farm is. Pistol plus two SMG and minigun plus five. Soul collector. Every monster you kill drops a soul that bestows you with magical energy regenerating some of your mana. Toughness. Your maximum health is increased by 30. Incoming damage decreased by 20. Ooh, that is very, very useful right here. Hmm. I might get this. Actually, I can. Can I? What's it require? Level uh, five. Uh, level five equals one PP, five life. It doesn't have a requirement. Ghost. You can move through monsters. Oh, that's that's actually kind of useful. If you get stuck on a monster in a small hallway, you want to run through them and try to get them from behind, like from behind or something. Even though you can't access sprites. I might get this. Can I not get this? Oh, you have to, they have to be green. Did not already get student? When leveling up, you gain additional random stat points. I thought I got this already in the last episode. Well, we got student. Okay. You get an insane running speed. Or treasure hunter. The odds of re receiving loot drops from enemies and crates are doubled. What were they even doing with that loot to begin with? This is uh, that's handy because that's your EXP. So I'll go ahead and get that. I do want this toughness though. What's that require though? Requirements five life. I got one left to go. So I'm gonna get that next point I get. All right, guys. I'm, I am so out of ammo right now, and it's not gonna give me any ammo here. This is mana for the staff. This staff. Which my mana is doing just fine. Do I not have, sh have a shotgun? I do have this. It doesn't have a huge amount of rounds, but... Well, hey. <laughs> Alright, we're going to the graveyard. We finished the sewers and we finished the, the beginning start. The start up levels. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We talked enough and I showed you guys the menus enough. Let's actually play the game. I did turn up the music because the music in this game is awesome. It was too low last time after while I was editing. I tried to mess with the audio a bit to bring out the music a bit more and it didn't work as well. It was still quiet. Sorry about that. I am not wasting my ammo on these guys. Darn spiders. Rapid knife. Don't spit your red eyeball things at me or whatever that is. Or a copy of yourself. That's just weird. It's like if you cloned yourself and you just throw it at somebody as a weapon. Hey man, where'd you come from? Don't peer behind me like that. Scaring me and stuff. Oh, here's a shotgun right here. Boom. Yeah. Now we're playing this Doom style. Gosh, this game is a lot of fun. Very satisfying. Not as in murder or anything, just the smoothness of the game. The controllability is awesome. Everything about this game is really awesome. Well, maybe not the boss fights so much. You'll see. <laughs> I got 25 rounds on here. Still got my 25 on here. Oh, dude. Oh, you blocked. That bounced back at me. That oh. All right. A wonderful little bit of uh, info for you guys here. Do not use the crossbow here, because the crossbow bolts will go through enemies, and you can't pick them back up through the fences. Okay, good point. <laughs> hey, cheap enemies wasting my ammo and whatnot. I haven't even used the dynamite at all. Why am I not using dynamite? Because I'm too scared. Whoop. I hit E. Just flying through my weapons like crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Move out the way. Boom. 
And see, uh, since I got that perk, that it has enemies drop treasure. Yep, they do drop the treasure. All right, hey, 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 hey. Got him. Well, I can throw the dynamite through the fence. Okay, I'm cool with that then. And it killed an enemy over there. You see all that? That is sweet. Oh man. Oh, nope, nope. Not wasting explosives on a spider. Oh yeah. Man, there is a lot. Well, it is a graveyard. Kind of explains all the zombies. Hey, spider. Oh, you couldn't do nothing? I am sorry. I say that a lot. Because it is funny. I guess. Well, in my head, it's funny. Come on, guys. Laugh. Whoa. Already at the end of the level? I'm already at the end. And I did say there was no mini map. There it is. It's in the corner. It's just hard to see. But if you want to bring up a bigger version of the map, there is no such thing. I'll get with the developers on that one. I would like to have like a uh, bigger map like Doom and Duke Nukem and all those have. <coughs> like a semi-transparent map would be cool. I don't know if, uh, how many uh, secrets there are in this level. Time to start furiously clicking. Here we go. I have to look behind me because I have a feeling something's going to appear behind me. It's usually how it goes. Okay. I could not move fast enough to get out of the way of that fireball. Me. I don't, I don't, uh, maybe this is considered a secret? Maybe. Get out. I'm going to try to save up my points to 8 points so I can go ahead and get the uh, magic staff. And I missed the only secret that was in there. I thought that was a secret, but apparently it wasn't. Graveyards. The Deadlands. Mm -mm -mm. Those are a level later on when you're in Antarctica. That has a... Because one of my more... My favorite horror movie... I like uh, your traditional hacker and slasher types. I like Freddy Krueger more than Jason Voorhees and Michael Myers. I'm not a big fan of those two. But I do like uh, Freddy Krueger. He's my favorite. And I heard that he, uh, Robert England, the original actor that did Freddy Krueger, is coming back. Um, you died on the, the thorns. Good job. Alright, yellow key. But what I was saying, there's this movie made in the 80s. Actually, it was made in the like, 60s or 50s. But that version is kind of boring. Last time I watched it. But I liked The Thing. By John Carpenter? Or Carpenter, I think it is. Yeah, The Thing is my favorite movie because it's. It is crazy. And that, that creature can get into anything because if one cell survives then the creature survives it's that powerful so and in this game they have a reference to that movie the thing in the Antarctica part of the game did I not I got the right key oh there we go need one of these open oh that's a new spell that book right there Yeah, our tax time, it was tax time here in America. We got our tax money back. It wasn't a huge amount, but we got some back. We paid off some bills that we needed to get paid off. But I got me a new chair that's not so squeaky or clanky. My last chair was clanky. It was old. Bomberman spells now. Ready to buy. Alright, red key. This gun right here is really powerful if you turn it to a uh, the uh, magnum. This music's re really giving me that uh, Halloween feel, which I'm okay with. That's one of my favorite holidays of the year. Good old Halloween. That's got to open up one of those other gates we ran across earlier. Okay, nothing else in here at the moment. 
I already checked this area. Yeah. Been there, done that. Got yellow key. Where's the zombies? I know they're going to appear. <laughs> they always do. But I do recommend this game, guys. If you like old style shooters like Doom, Quake, Hexen, Heretic, Duke Nukem, any of the good old classics, classics back in the day, then definitely pick this game up with Dusk. Those games are awesome. And a medieval. It says Old School Sundays, and these games are not that old, but the style is old. Hear that music, it's awesome. Hey, hey, man. That was a trick move, bro. Did you see that there? When he, like, died, there was, like, a chunk that just went into the wall. Phew. That was a good... I love the music in this game. And if you buy the game on Steam, you do get a uh, the, the soundtrack for free. Worth it. Graveyards. She no Uchi. Hello? Hello? Ah! I'm gonna try not to talk so much so you guys can hear the music. Just ever so often. And quietly. Like an ASMR. <laughs> I don't know why people are into that ASMR stuff. It's so lame. But they get they get huge amount of views and stuff on YouTube and other sites and it's just ridiculous. Woo. Do you guys hear that? Thunder time. We got a little bit of a thunderstorm here where I live and uh, it adds to the atmosphere of this game. We are in the graveyard and my health is destroyed. I gotta be able to be a little bit more careful. I don't like that big room. You just know it's gonna be full of enemies. <coughs> no red key. <coughs> my throat's all acting up again. It always does when I do my let's plays. <laughs> level up. Wonder what the max level is in this game. Hey, secret? Oh. This looks like it'd be a secret, or is that just texture glitch? Big room, big room. I'm not wasting my ammo on you, bro. Do the peak. I'm not quite a headshot, but hey, it worked. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the music higher and I can uh, adjust the music while I'm editing. That last episode you couldn't hear any of that music really. Barely. So I'll let you guys hear the music. Wouldn't these walls have windows? Or didn't they have windows? Oh, that was kind of green looking. Oh man, all this treasure. So much treasure! I'm thinking of, uh, I keep thinking of, uh, the secret system in this game being like um, Wolfenstein 3D and I like think secrets are inside of secrets oh no this is the bigger room this is the other room that wall's off you see the, the pixels here are off on both sides right here are you sure it's not a secret game come on now give me that secret Oh, I see they're all like this. Okie dokie. Who uses that word anymore? Just me. I'm unique. Alright. Moving on to the next area. Red key. And blue key. I don't have yellow yet. Oh man, these guys have a lot of health. You gonna blow yourself up like your friend did while well back? Oh yeah, I took him out with a knife. Cause I'm BA guys. Completely and utterly BA. Haha, <laughs> you missed. 
more treasure the better. Always. I just hopefully this, this season goes away and it gets better. I'm tired of having colds and whatnot. It's awful. Makes it hard to do com uh, commentary, for one. Makes me sound like I'm just like, who is this guy? He, he's like, just talks straight through his nose. <laughs> I know it's not that bad. Just, it just seems that way. All right, yellow key. Yeah, we got the yellow key. Is this a maze? Are you amazed? Bad puns all day. I could spill them out all day. What, does this say something? <laughs> what was the, uh, the trick to mazes is always stay on the left? But I'm going on the right because I am not normal. Most games like this always have a maze areas just because they're these old style games that kind of reminds me of the uh, Windows what is it, Windows 95 screensaver where it's like the uh, maze it just automatically plays goes through the maze or you can control it yourself the good old days So I'm thinking my next uh, old game I'm going to throw onto the old uh, old school Sundays, if you guys approve, is Torok. I was going to do the Torok games. It's either Torok or Half Life. And if you guys are watching this, make sure to go into the comments and tell me which one you would like to see after I am done with this particular game. But well, we got a while before this game is done and I'm okay with that because this game is awesome not all the music is amazing but a lot of it is really good and worth it now where's that red door? it was back here and that should open up where the shoot you door is there he is and he hit me anyways what a douchebag yeah. get this bramble out of here nobody wants your thorns and I did have a little extra money and I bought me a new keyboard and mouse. Just let everybody know after we paid the bills and stuff. We had some doctor bills that needed to be paid off and we did. Responsibility first guys, always. But I got me a new mouse, a new chair, and a new keyboard. A mechanical keyboard. The keyboard I'm using now is called an AZA. A-Z-Z-A. And it came with my computer for free and the mouse is a Corsair. M65 has the sniper button on the side of it. Ah, we're back here again. And we did get a level up, so... How many points? I got six points. I'm going to save them back, actually. Let's check out that Bomberman spell. Bomberman. Uses dynamite ammo to haul a magical propelled dynamite. Oh, so it's like a bullet, but it's a dynamite. Kind of like a rocket. It says 9.8 or minus 0.2 mana type dynamite. Hmm. There's one spell I will get when I get to the point of having it. Oh, I didn't get a point here. I guess it's every five levels, yeah. And I'm definitely going to try to go after this point right here. Now I got this, so now this is open. So when I get a point here, this is going to be got. If that makes any sense. My speaking is so, so southern. All right, moving on to the next level set. And we got ourselves, I beat two or three levels there. Yeah, the castle, stage four, bam. All right, bring out the shoddy, the shoddy shotgun. <laughs> I wanna upgrade the shotgun. There's one shotgun that was really fun to use. It was the napalm launcher. But I want to save my points at the moment. Some of these levels I don't remember. It's been a little while. I did stop playing this game. 
when I started playing Dusk. I did. I do believe I said that previous episode. Ah ha ha ha! What is that, dude? Was he some kind of wizard? Oh, he's got a floating head now? Oh, he's dead. The wizard, when I killed the wizard, it seems like his head flew off and started flying around. Could have used that barrel, but I didn't know it was there until just now. Some of these levels are quite short. But I'm gonna go through. But I'm not gonna try to rush this game because I gotta make it last a while. So it seems like it's, you know, pretty good little playlist so people can go spend some time watching the playlist. Right. Okay, spell. I don't have a spell. Alright, how do I. Um, how do I equip the spell? I don't remember how to do it. There's something to do with the scroll wheel and holding down a button, but I can't remember. I gotta, I gotta look. Um, use magic, left trigger, right. Action, previous weapon, next weapon, primary, secondary. Um, okay, spell selection, spell, wheel, plus interaction. A scroll wheel plus interaction. That's what I just did, but nothing happened. Previous next gun interaction. Previous next gun. Okay, so E and Q interaction. It ain't doing nothing. Just switching guns. Um. Did I not? I bought that spell, didn't I? The light? Something is not right here. It's saying that I don't even have spells at all. I'm a bit confused. Oh, it is dark back there. Um. Oh, that was a door. So that's why I wanted that spell. But it's gone. What am I to do? Well, check it if we beat this level. Just hopefully there's not too many of those dark rooms. Hell, dude. That had a lot of health. That goes beefy. <laughs> Just a bit beefy. Yellow key. Oh, no, 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 no. Gotta be careful of those red dudes. They are kind of... They do their whole, uh... Hit scan shot thing. That means they can hit you instantly if they see you. They don't have to aim or anything. Let's see if I pick up that health. Sorry I'm not, if I'm not talking loud enough. I feel like I'm not talking loud enough. Anything in there? There's gotta be some secrets hanging about this level. Yellow key, which I do have. Hey, dude. Really? I had to shoot through that pillow first? Bring out the shotgun. Aha! Secrets! I love secrets, man. Satisfying to find them. Oh, he almost got me, dude. See, this guy, he doesn't just, he doesn't die. The thing is, is that when you shoot him, he just falls apart and just keeps coming after you. Yeah, that missed. Gloriously. I don't know how long this level is going to take. Is a little bit bigger than the other levels. Ooh. 
Ow. This is why having that one upgrade that allows you to walk through enemies is very handy right here. Because that small hallway they block pretty much all the way across. Would have been nice to have that walkthrough spell so I can just go through them. So I'm out here in the open. Aha! Uh -huh. See, I, I know so there's no way in here. I was like, okay, this is a solid wall. This is like in um, Wolfenstein 3D, where sometimes you'll find secrets within a secret. So this secret had another door that led to the super shotgun. Oh, baby. We got ourselves a super loot. shot that a while ago and you just knew I was going to walk into it, didn't you? Yep, they, they fall apart. The wizard dudes become like floating heads. Is there another barrel? Yes. Here. And it took out one dude. You douche. Hiding behind this pillar. Um... Is that somebody's shield that's just now on the ground? I have not used the uh, minigun. So I do believe I have a minigun. Or maybe I don't. Nah. I got an Uzi though. Where'd I get this? I don't remember picking it up. Okay. We got ourselves an Uzi. Ah, you missed. Love seeing those for nope. Woo! He almost had me there. Alright, I guess we're done with this level. That needs to be like the in uh, Dusk, you could push uh, Tab. And it'll show you if you killed all the enemies slash got all the secrets and all that stuff. Which you'll see in my episode. I actually showed it all. Several times. On one of the episodes. I got all secrets. Cool. 52 kills, items 41. Sweet. This music is awesome. But... Come on. <laughs> right when they raise their shield, you just shoot them when they're just done for. Oh, they can shoot fireballs. No, never mind. It's just that guy. This music is kind of reminding me of Doom. To a small degree. Um, hey, dude. Wow, that fire is not really killing you very fast, is it? Phantoms. I guess because they're armored. They, they do look like a floating armor. So that's probably why you can't do any... Oh, my shotgun shells are wasted. None of these are explosive barrels. Oh, sadness. So much sadness. Go. Cool. <laughs> nope. 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 Keep them stun locked. That's how you do it. My right, barrel did, did barely anything to him. Even though was, he, even though he was quite close to it. It was quite useless. He was like, "Ha! I scoff off that, that. I scoff off that barrel." That's hard to say. It means he just brushed it off and did not care. Hmm. My ammo is getting kind of short. Might have to switch to the crossbow. Ha! Level up. Yeah. Boom. Wow, this thing is weak. Weak sauce. He 
He's an upgrade point. Sweet. Best for the weapons and magic, I do believe. This level's going to get confusing quite quick. I'm out of... I'm out of bullets here. I got some shotgun now. Might have to switch to TNT. Or the Uzi. That'll work. I do have yellow key, but I I'm, feel like I missed something back here real fast. Blue door. Can't do that. Uzi ammo. Uzi ammo. Yellow door. Okay. Oh, it just leads right back here again. Okay. Pop, pop, and done. Oh, I saw him back there. And there goes all that ammo, guys. And we got our so it turned oh. weird. Disco painting. Orange, orange, red, orange, red, orange, red. <laughs> Disco painting. Oh, I ruined it. Shame. Music, man. I can just beat to this music. Oh, <laughs> that sounded really bad. <laughs> I just realized what I said. Don't mind that. I am tired. <laughs> That sounded so bad. What I meant is I can, you know, rock to this music. What is going on with this? Where's my, oh, they're going through the wall. My bolts are going through this wall. I don't know, man, that was weird. That was a blatant secret, but my shots were just like, nope. Says crossbow bolts do not apply. If you aim your crossbow bolt just right, then you can hit all the enemies in a line. Well, not all. I think it does have a limit to how many it can kill in a line. Maybe two. Until you get the upgrade that allows you to have a larger bolt. Then that goes to a huge amount of them. I check the secrets here. Make sure there is no other secrets within secrets. It's kind of a maze, but not an extreme maze. Just want to make sure I got all the corners checked. I don't want to miss anything. I do have the, the purple key now. Kind of looks blue to me, but have a purple tinge to it. Okay. So let to the back to the beginning. Ah. Oh, that's a bad idea to use that gun here because you can't pick up your bolts. I lost that bolt because when I get close to this door, I automatically exit. Dang it! Wrong. I messed up. I have to start all over again, guys. We're doing it live. I keep saying that. I think I said that in a previous episode. About that newscaster. <laughs> it was like the F word. And then he's like, we're doing it live. The guy was not happy. I don't know what happened, but he was not happy about it. Oh, that was a bolt. I just got one back. Yay. I got two out of two secrets. 40 and 54. Yay. Castle Keep. I'm gonna try to finish this level and then it'll be my last level. Because I'm out of time. But I did say I was gonna make it a little longer. Because we did all that stuff at the beginning of the video. I wonder who did the music for this. I need to find the name. Oh, 
that worked. And if you're low on ammo, break boxes and barrels and stuff because they do have a chance to give you ammo. Not all the time though, but hey. Having a chance is better than nothing at all. Ah, two for one. Got a two for. So it goes in a big circle. Oh, this one just goes too. Yeah. Okay, so there's a door right there. More ammo, yay! Love all that shit. Getting all this ammo. Blue key. Hmm. Bam. You don't scare me. Oh. Did you see that? They were working together there. One shot a fireball behind the other one. And... As soon as I drop the other guy, here comes the fireball. Didn't have time to actually... Dodge that one. I'm getting distracted for some reason. I'm thinking like a lot of stuff at the moment. A lot more things than I should be thinking about. Yeah, one of them is me saying that <laughs> at the beginning there. <clears throat> Not at the beginning, but about the music thing. But I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> oh, shot too early. There's where you shoot. Watch somebody make a meme out of me saying that stuff. Most likely. Let me try to watch one of those try not to laugh challenges or something. And there'll be me saying, I beat to this music. <laughs> That's so bad. So if you blow his whatever off, oh whoa. You summon these things? And I got stuck on it. Of course. Yep, that one power-up that allows me to walk through enemies. Very good right now. Dude, go down, man. It was that dude right there. They just summon these infinite amount of enemies. They are pretty bad. Yeah, health. And spider. Come on, quit giving me spiders and things. Give me ammo. You do still have this gun. Well, that was an accidental find. We've got an additional life. I have not died yet, guys. Not that I remember. Which is cool. So I guess I, you know, take back my saying that I suck at games. <laughs> I still do, though. There are certain game genres I'm really bad at. Like RTS games, man, I, I am awful at RTS games. Tried playing the original Command & Conquer, couldn't even make it past the first level. I died. I'm that bad. Alright, well I got still the blue purple key. I don't have the red yet, or the yellow. Where do I go? Do I miss one more door somewhere? Must have. Yes. One up. We received a lock point. And bats. I don't know if this is worth the ammo. If you're careful enough, you can not get hit. You just shiv them. Ship, ship, ship. Feel like I'm running out of things to say. Can't do that if you're a com uh, commentator. Oh, red key. Sweet. Feel like I'm not talking loud enough either. For some reason. Maybe it's just the music that's playing. It is a little louder in my ears, even though I did turn down my headphones. Really? She took that shotgun blast like crazy. Did 
She's like, nope, that shotgun blast did nothing. Die, spiders. Even though me personally in real life I don't I don't mind spiders. There's certain ones I don't mess with, like, you know, that are obviously bad or poisonous, but but I don't, I'm not I'm not scared of them. There's a lot of people out there that are scared of spiders. And I'm not one of them. Not a big fan of that your uh, projectiles sometimes hit invisible walls. Puts me in this situation where I get shot every time I come around the corner because I have to go around the wall. Look at that, I just got hit right there. It took a chunk of my health. It's not good. Treasure. Mm, all that wonderful treasure. Alright, moving on. Now we have one more yellow door, back by the red door. Somewhere in this level. Back here? No. Actually, that was a blue door, or purple door. Keep wanting to say blue, but it's not. Was I in the right area? Yeah, I went the opposite way. Durr. No, actually, I came out of that door. What? Confusion setting in. Mind blown. I could have swore I saw a yellow door recently. Where was it? It's a red door on the opposite side. Hey, health. I left a little bit of health back here, and I'm like, okay, we're leaving a little bit of health behind. This level kind of beat me up a little bit. I got bullied by this level in uh, Project Warlock. It was bad. Ah. Of course, he was shooting right when I opened the door. What a nub. Don't ask me what that word would mean, it's just, I just said it. <laughs> what a nub. Alright, is this back at the, um... Castle of the Battlements. Ugh, I'm running out of time here, I don't know if I can do this level. Dodge, dodge, dodge. How many shots are there? Rapid fire. Those guys have a lot more health than you expect. What blew up behind me? Oh, was that guy? Yeah, we're gonna try to finish this level. I know I said that last episode, but. I don't know how the game acts if you leave. Does it take one of your lives if you leave a level before completing it? Now that's a good question. I don't know. Found that I've never had to do that before. Usually, I, I leave the game like leave the game when I get to the uh, the upgrade station area. Or the home base, or whatever they called it. So this is going to be a longer video. It's probably going to be an over an hour long video. Dude! Break! That reminds me of that scene in Dune. D-U-N-E. From the 80s. Where it's like, they're using the weirding module. Yelling at that stone to break. Which is one of the hardest subst substances. Where'd you come from, bro? Haha. Uh -huh. Should've blown yourself up there, dude. But everywhere I turn around, there's an enemy just like already shooting at me. Oh, it bounced off me. Your bomb failed, sir. Oh, there's a lot of enemies in this level so far. And I'm gonna get confused real quick. Because this level goes everywhere.
I just led to a roundabout here. No secrets. Okay. At least we know it's done. And this place is done too. Pretty rocking soundtrack though. I can't get enough of this soundtrack. Oh, I leveled up nice I'm okay with that but yeah like I said uh, very early on guys is that you can go back to single levels with your character and get some more levels of uh, level ups if you're not doing so hot later on so if you find the levels a little difficult you go back and just level up a bit more in your previously completed levels because it all counts uh how? Why, man? Why? Hey, ho, I still got ammo out of it, but open something up, all I get is a uh, enemy. Come on. What? Are you missing or are you hitting that guy? But when you blow their arm off like this, they can't throw no more grenades at you. What was that? you guys hear that? It was like a weird voice. I'm hearing things, man. I'm hearing things. I'm spooked. Pick up all this health and a little bit of ammo we left behind. It's a good idea. Because I am getting quite low on the old ammo. So it's always a good idea to go back and pick the stuff up that you left behind. Yeah, I need to upgrade that crossbow because the large bolt is actually really good. And it does a lot more damage than the original. Not to mention you can take out multiple enemies all in one bolt. Which I'm okay with this. Because you go down a hallway like this and you got a bunch of bats and a whole bunch of enemies behind them. Shoot one bolt and it just goes right through them all. It may not kill them all, but they will be hurt. No secrets in that level. I beat it in five minutes. Workshop, yay! We made it. Alright, let's uh... I do have eight points so I can get this if I wanted to. But you do get other uh, options here. Your Uzi, you can have a Kimbo Uzi, so you have one in each hand. Which I did in the, my original let's, uh, playthrough of this. Which I didn't beat, I stopped it at a certain point. And then you got the harvester deals two times damage, consumes four shells per shot, or you can get the flat cannon, shoots red hot metal shards, allows uh, you to shoot twice before reloading. So this is the one I was talking about. It sets enemies on fire. Hmm. Or I might go ahead and get this. So let's do that. We didn't get any new spells. There's not a huge amount of spells in the game. This is all the spells there is. Right. Do I have an upgrade point? No. But I do have points in here though. Let's bring up some capacity here. Let's bring that to five. Then get lead collector now. Oh, yeah, we already read this. Five capacity. So, yep. Alright, guys. Well, I'm going to end it here. Hope you enjoyed that video. It was exciting and fun and me saying weird things that shouldn't be said. <laughs> ah tiredness will bring weirdness to you all right guys well if you'd like to join the meerkat nation or uh, the family hit that like subscribe button and join today and if you like my commentary find it funny helpful or full of innuendos hit that like button to show you support and if you didn't still hit that like button because i'm still learning and i'm improving every day and next to that subscribe button you'll see a bell icon you hit that bell icon then you become part of the exclusive club of Papa Meerkat's uh, notification squad. When you hit that squad, you get notifications every time I upload my videos so you don't miss any of these awesome adventures. So I recommend that. Alright guys, well, each and every one of you have an awesome day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.